when it comes to operating a business that supports uh, artist development, what members would you consider essential? Like uh, artist manager, communications agent, marketing agent? So great question. It's less about the title. It's always going to be more about the responsibility. All right. So don't get caught up on whether someone's a manager or an assistant or uh, an agent or, you know, those are titles. Be more focused and clear on what needs to happen for this to be successful. And starting with the artist who's at the core of that, look at your strengths and weaknesses. I'll give you an example. I'll use myself. I'll be transparent for a second. I'm really good at the idea. I'm really good at the, you tell me your problem and I can like do something in my brain and then like I have the solution. I'm even really good at putting that idea and thoughts on paper. I'm not as good at executing the idea by myself. And the reason that is, is the next person that talks to me with a problem, I now am solving that problem and this problem, it's hard for me to implement the one through 10 steps. My wife is really good and partner at implementing and executing the steps. So when we work together, whether it's building a studio, whether it's managing an artist, whether it's planning a family vacation, we're really good when we sit together and use our strengths and weaknesses together. So I'd say the most important role or the most important responsibilities are the ones where someone is strong where you are weak. If you're an artist and you don't really like selling yourself, right? That's a, that's a skill. And it's one that not everyone is good at. Then find someone who's really good at selling other people. Find someone who has no problem walking in the venue and saying, man, you got to book my, my artist. They're so good. Whether that person is your manager or your agent can be defined later. But most importantly, you're not going to get those shows if someone's not out there pushing for you. If you're not really good at like keeping a good structured schedule and showing up on time and like, you know, you're just not good with that. Like you're not good at like, hey, I told you I'd be there at four o'clock. I'll be there at three thirty and said like, then find someone who's really structured and organized who can manage your calendar for you, because that's going to be really crucial as your life gets busier. Whether that person is an assistant, whether they're a manager, whether they're an agent, that can be determined later. But I know that I'm not good at keeping a structured calendar. I need someone in my world to help me structure my calendar. So that's really like the, the team should be built of people who are building each other up based on their strengths and not based on, oh, I need a manager. Because even if I said, all right, I'll get you the best manager in the world today. What if you're not really good at keeping a calendar and that best manager in the world is not good at keeping a calendar? Now the two of you are working together and nobody's keeping a calendar. So fill, fill your, your weak spots first. 